what if I don't have enough money to follow my passion? So I got a great question for one of my YouTube viewers. Love you guys. Osprizo69 who wrote in to say, what do I do if my passion is too big? I don't have enough money for it. In that case, isn't it okay to start with something else which will give me the initial money? So here's the thing, okay? This is a great question. I know one that people struggle with a lot. You know, you have this vision for what you want to do with yourself, with your career, the people you want to help, the, the lifestyle you want to live, and then you see where you are now and, and there's such a big gap. And you're like, how do I fill that gap? How do I go and accomplish that? Money is not going to be the answer for you, okay? It's not going out and doing something that you hate to make money to do something that you love, okay? I don't want you to go launch some kind of business just to try to make money to fund something else. The best way to do it is to make money while you learn everything you need to know about that skill that you'll need to accomplish your dream. So let me give you an example. Okay, I don't know what your big vision, your passion is it's for context, but let me say, say I wanted to be a professional speaker. Okay, so let's look at me. Say I want to be, if I wanted to be Anthony Robbins, okay, I want to be the next Anthony Robbins. That was, if that was my goal, and I think. You know what? I, uh, to do Anthony Robbins, I need to have money to make CDs and books, and and I need infomercials, and all this is just dollar signs. And hey, I don't have that money. I can't go out and do that. So how am I going to do it? The answer isn't for me to go out and try to do something that I'm not good at, that I hate, to try to make money. So, you know, say I got an opportunity to uh, sell couches. Okay, and say, hey, you can make hundred thousand dollars a year selling couches. Why would I go do that? You know, I don't love couches. I don't love selling this stuff. I don't want to be in that business. Why would I take a job or start a business just trying to make money? Because if that's your goal, if your only goal is to make money, it never works, right? People come to you with opportunities and say, hey, you can make a lot of money doing this. It never works. That stuff never works out. Two options for you. The better path is one, go get a job in the field okay so if I wanted to be the next Anthony Robbins I should go work for Anthony Robbins if I don't have the money to do what I need to do go get a job doing the thing learning from the person who has already done what I want to do model success hey I, I you know I'm not my own entrepreneur right now if I'm going to work for Anthony Robbins but I'm getting paid right I have money coming to my bank account and I'm I'm more importantly learning the ins and outs of that business. I'm learning how he built his thing up. I'm learning how to do exactly everything that he's doing. I'm learning how he markets. I'm learning how he connects with people. I'm learning how he creates new products. Everything. I'm learning. I'm getting paid to learn, right? It's like I'm going to university to do exactly what I want to do and I'm getting paid to do it. And if I make mistakes, I'm doing it while getting paid. And it'll also teach you if this is something you want to do, you know, I may go work for Anthony Robbins and say, hey, you know what? I don't want to be the next Anthony Robbins anymore. I'm glad I figured that out while still getting paid instead of jumping in and losing my savings trying to launch it. Okay, so go get a job working for somebody who can teach you about the business. Not just do something, get a job or launch your own business just trying to make some money to support something else. Okay? You need to be learning how to be better so that you can go launch your own career, launch your own company. When you go out, Right, I go work for Tony Robbins. When I'm, I'm not going to be there forever. It might be six months, it might be a year, it might be two years. But when I come out of that, I have the connections. I know who to talk to. I know how to create products and bring people on. I know how to do everything to build up my business. And when I launch, I'm much more likely to be successful. Okay, that's the first option. The second option is start smaller. Every big dream that you have can be broken down into smaller steps. You might say, hey, big dream up here, okay? Gonna cost me X amount of dollars and it's way more than I have. But you can notch that down, see all the little steps and say, hey, what can I do to get started to bootstrap this thing? Because I guarantee you there's a, there's a way to bootstrap this business. If you look at every successful famous entrepreneur, you look at how they started, it wasn't with millions of dollars in their pockets. They started from nothing. They started with, with 20 bucks, a lot of them and they bootstrap their way up. There's a way to get this thing started without having to spend a lot or any money. You just have to find it. And it starts with usually on the service side. So if I wanted to be the next Anthony Robbins and I see all these dollar signs ahead of me, 
I could start right now. I don't need expensive gear. I don't need to make a, a, a CDs and put on live seminars and rent out huge halls and create infomercials. I don't need to do any of that stuff. I could start right now with my laptop making these YouTube videos. That's a start. That's how I started. I didn't start making videos, renting expensive gear and you know buying all the stuff because I didn't want to spend money till I was making money. Right now, this video is off my laptop. I'm, I'm feeling a little sick today. I didn't want to get in front of the big camera. <clears throat> all that set up. So I'm just talking in front of the laptop. Right? There's ways to start your business without having to spend a lot of money. You just need to find it and start building momentum. The beautiful thing is, those two things can work together. You can get a job working for the dream company that you want to build. Right, The person who you look up to the most, you go work for them. And at the same time, start your own thing on the side. Start small. Start a service. Get to know your customers. Get better. Right? You need to develop your skills to be good at what you're doing. That's the way to do it. And that might take you six months or a year or two years of learning and trying. But you're making mistakes while getting paid. You're learning how to be a way better entrepreneur and operator. And then when you finally do launch, you have a much higher chance of success. And much greater chance of you hitting that dream that you have. That's how you get started. So don't go off, get some job or start some business just trying to make money because those things never work out. You're going to be back here a year later, probably having less money than what you started with and not being happy. And I don't want that to be you. So go out and chase your dreams. Believe. For those of you watching, I'd love to hear how you've gone out and either taken a job to learn from a mentor or started small, how you bootstrapped your business. Let me know. Share some examples. Help inspire the people by leaving a comment underneath. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up below. Make sure to do more for you. And click on my face there to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.